Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Finds TV. I'm Payton Forbes. May you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, April 26th, 2022. Now let's take a brain break. Inhale, let the waves gently rise. And exhale, let the waves fall. Inhale, the waves rise. And exhale, the waves fall. Take some calming ocean breaths in and out at your own pace. So relaxing. Now let's go to word of the day. So, Randy, I heard you're hatching chickens. How is it going? Oh, it's going great right now, but they are in their eggs, so they are very vulnerable, so I have to be very careful. Yeah, I know what you mean. Eggs are very capable of being wounded or hurt. Yeah, they might be vulnerable, but it's okay because I know every chick in the book. <laughs> That's a good one. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on, on Word of the Day. I sure can be vulnerable from time to time. Now let's go to Destiny for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Peyton. Sports fans, just over six years ago, Catherine Parenteau discovered the wonderful sport of pickleball. Now she is one of the biggest names in this interesting sport. Pickleball is a jumble of tennis, table tennis, and badminton where players hit a ball with holes, called a wiffle ball, back and forth on a court smaller than a tennis court. This weekend, Catherine played against her former coach in Naples at the U.S. Open Pickleball Championship to become number one in the world. Now, let's see what's cooking with Angelie. Thank you, Destiny. Today's lunch sure is yummy. It is chicken alfredo pasta, breadstick, broccoli, orange juice, and your choice of milk. Scholars, please let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Let's go back to Peyton. That sure sounds delicious. Thank you, Angelie. The academic celebrations are today and tomorrow. Today is for kindergarten and second grade, and tomorrow is for first and fourth grade. Congrats to the students that have received an award. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Sports fans, tomorrow our boys baseball team has a game against the Slam West Palm. The game starts at 4 p.m. Let's go, Patriots. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Valencia. Thank you, Peyton. It sure is a wonderful day to take a trip outside. Hey, Patriots, today's weather is looking like a nice 86 degrees with a low chance of rain. Kayaking is in season. Since there's a low chance of rain, maybe you should try it. In other weather news, sargassum is added again. If you didn't know, sargassum is a type of algae that appears on beaches. It's important to the ocean ecosystem because it provides a breeding ground for common sea animals, including turtles. The only problem is it's stinking up beaches. The seaweed gives off hydrogen sulfide as it decomposes, which smells like rotten eggs. You learn something new every day. Now let's go to Scott and Sonia for today's weird fact. Yeah. Good morning, Patriots! Here to speak weird but true fact! Everyone loves their best friends. We do everything with them. Tasmanian devils think this exact way, too. These guys are able to make lifelong friendships where they're just babies. This happens when they leave their moms. These devils form strong bonds with their siblings and others around their age. Fun fact! They get the devil part in their name from the screeching sound they make. <laughs> They also have one of the strongest bite forces in the animal world. 
so strong that they can bite through metal. I really hope I can find the best red for life like these guys do. That's it for this week's Spirit Patrol Fact. Thank you, Scott and Sonia. Sure sounds cool. Today's birthday boys and girls are Nathan Wilson, Gabriel Villanueva, and Armando Lara. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Joshua. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Ms. Chang, Ms. Gonzalez, Ms. June, Ms. Sheriff, Ms. Only, and Ms. Eam Dengkwa. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, what is the loudest animal on earth? The correct answer is the blue whale. Now, teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. How many eyes does a bee have? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners we announce on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV Watch wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!